Now in this part of the question then, we've got to work out the magnitude of the force exerted on block Q by block R. So I've drawn block Q here of mass 5 kilograms. And so what are those forces acting on Q? Well, first of all, you've got the weight of Q acting downwards. So that's going to be 5 G Newtons. Now, because this is resting on the block R, there's going to be a reaction coming from R acting on Q. And that reaction is going to act upwards. So we'll call that a reaction of R Newtons. Now, these are the only two forces acting on Q. But we know that Q is descending with an acceleration that we found out in the previous part. And that acceleration was 5.88 meters per second per second. So in order to find R, all we need to do is resolve in the direction of motion, which is downwards. And so we've got the overall force is going to be 5G minus the R. And that is equal to the mass, 5, times the acceleration, 5.88. So we just need to rearrange this to make R the subject. So if I add R to both sides and subtract this, we've got R equals 5G minus 5 times 5.88. And if you take G to be 9.8 and do that on your calculator, what you should find you get is R is 19.6 Newtons. And so that is the force acting on Q. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.